Welcome to Maths and Science series. So this is the continuation of the second part of inequalities. So these are the things which you need to know. We have the symbols which you need to know as indicated there. So the very important thing that you need to know about this topic is that an equal sign is not, is not applicable on this topic. So we do not use it. So don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you can be notified when we upload another video. All right, then we have x squared greater than 25. So we are solving for x here. So let's recheck that everything is not in the standard form. You see that? So we need to make it to be in the standard form. Okay, so we have x squared. Now we transpose us 25 to the other side. We'll change its sign to minus 25 greater than zero. You see that now everything's in the standard form. So when we are here, we need to factorize. Okay, now we open the bracket. Um, we do the factorization greater than zero. So now we already have the x and the other x on the other bracket. So when we multiply them, they will give us positive. Uh, they will give us x squared. So now we need to have two numbers that when we multiply them, they give, they give us negative twenty five. And when we when when we add them or subtract them, they give us uh, what? They give us zero, which it is five and minus five right then so now we need to solve for x so we'll say uh, open bracket x plus 5 greater than 0 you see that greater than 0 or x minus 5 greater than 0 so we have all because we're dealing with the squared here these are quadratic uh, inequalities so we need to have two answers of x all right so x plus s x greater than negative 5 why we transpose that positive 5 on the other side or x is greater than positive 5 so these are our answers so we solved for x here so there's something uh, they might say that you need to represent your answer graphically so we'll use a uh, the parabola to do it you can you, you if you understand the number line you can use it but here we're using what the the what the parabola okay so now since we have greater than we need to use a uh, what the open dot we need to use the open dot we don't shade it because we have greater than if it was greater than or equal to that is when we use what a uh, 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 a dark dot okay now so let's check our cartesian plane now on that other side is negative this is what we know then the upper one there it is also positive so even here since we got our numbers as minus five and positive five so we put five where uh, on the right hand side because it is positive and the other five on the left hand side so this is how we're doing it so all the time make sure that everything's in the standard form before you can do anything else So here, check if we have greater than or, I mean, if we have greater than or less than. I'm talking about or I'm highlighting the matter of the dots. So we are using what the open dot. You see that? Because these symbols talks. So we need to know how to deal with them. So if we have greater than or equal to or less than. Uh, or equal to so we need to use what a, a, a dotted dot or a dark or closed dot you see that when we draw our when we present our answers graphically so all time you must know that okay so let's go to our second uh, problem or second uh, example we have x squared minus 5x plus 6 greater or equal to 0 so now everything is in a standard form as we want it to be. All right, now we need to do our factorization. So when you factorize, I hope you know this one, greater or equal to zero. So what we already have is x on this side and x on the other side. So what we need to understand and bear in mind, it is that in a trinomial, when the last term is positive, so it tells us that inside the bracket, we must have same signs. As positive or negative we must have same signs so as it is positive here it tells us that 
we need to take what we need to take that middle with that middle sign which is negative and make it to be the same on this bracket and on that other bracket why because the last term it is positive so now we need to look for our critical values so how do we look how do we find them it is, we do this we look for two numbers when we multiply them uh, they give us a uh, six which is positive and when we add or subtract them they give us minus five let us check let us uh, use three and uh, two so when we multiply three by two we get what we get a uh, six then when we add three and two we get what positive five so since the signs are both negative we just place them wherever we want you see that so now this is what you have we need to solve for x then we continue with what we know x minus three greater or equal to zero or x minus two greater or equal to zero you see that now we need to do what we need to transpose the three so therefore x is or equal to positive three you see that remember we transpose it or x is greater than or equal to positive two the sign changes so now we need to do what we need to represent our answers graphically so we are using what we are not using a number line but if you're okay with it you can use it or if you understand the parabolic one you can also use it so this is what we need to understand since both our answers are positive the the bigger one goes to the right hand side and the smaller one goes to the left hand side so here we have two on the left hand side since it is a uh, less now we have three on that other side so since we have greater than or equal to we use what we use the closed dot you see that one we use it so whenever we have the equal sign we use all those those dots okay now we have x squared greater or equal to 2x plus 2 so we need to make it to be in a standard form okay get that rule so x squared minus 2x when you transpose it will be minus 2x then we transpose that other 2 it will be minus 2 greater than or equal to 0 so now everything's in a standard form bear in mind that it must be always like that so let's do the factorization so here we put what we already have which is x and x so that when we multiply we get what x squared so now this is a trinomial we check the last term so if it is not positive it means it will be negative so it tells us we need to have different signs you see that so now let us check our critical values so we need two numbers that we, when you multiply them they give us minus two then when we add or subtract them they give us what they give us minus two so it is possible for you not to get those two numbers so if you didn't get them or it is not possible you just use what eh, the quadratic formula the one we did on the first video so let us do it all right so plus or minus square root now we put the b squared it is minus uh two all squared minus 4a which it is 1 and the c it is minus 2 sorry that I didn't have space but it is minus 2 okay now we divide okay let me we divide everything by what by 2 open bracket 1 which is the value of a you see that so now we need to have two numbers right we need to split it so when we split we get what 0 comma uh, when you okay minus 0 comma 7 you see that minus 0 comma 7 3 or x equal to uh, 2 comma 7 3 so we take those two numbers since, since it is negative you you put it where it is positive where, where there's a positive sign it will be 0 comma 7 3 so all the time and that other one since it is positive you put it where there is a negative sign you see that then that is when you can solve um the x all right all right then we are here just do this uh x open bracket x plus 0 comma 7 3 close bracket or uh, greater than or equal to 0 or open bracket x 
minus 2,73 greater than or equal to 0. So now we need to solve for x. Okay, so we do what you already know. We transpose now x greater than or equal to minus 0, 0,73. You see, get us back when, when we're using quadratic formula. Even here, greater than or equal to positive 2,73. So now we need to use what we need to show our answers graphically. So we use our parabola. Um, we we'll use our. We we'll represent our answers graphically using parabolic graph. Okay. So since we have greater than or equal to, we need to use the shaded dot or the closed dot. Bear in mind, all the time that's what we do. Okay, so now since we have positive number and a negative number as our answers, we take the positive number on the right hand side. Now we take again the negative number on the left hand side. So bear in mind that whenever we don't have critical values, so we need to use a quadratic formula. Then when we get our answers, we put them in their opposites or their signs. All right, try this one on your own and leave the answer on the comment. So that I can tell you. So if you don't have critical values, use what? Quadratic formula. All right. We have x over 4 less than 4 over x. These are fractions ones. All right. So what we need to do here, we need to do what is known as a cross multiplication. See how easy it is. We multiply x with that x so check how easy it is so x multiplied by x we have x squared remember quadratic inequalities so 4 multiply oh, oh just do this less than then 4 multiplied by 4 which is 16 so won't multiply the 4 in x because the sign that the sign divided what i mean separated the two fractions so let us check this so if we have this this is how we will do it because we have what we have the positive signs separating them so if we have an equal sign or less than or greater than we don't multiply the uh the the, the denominators okay so now we need to do what we need to look for two numbers that when you multiply them but first before we can do that let us transpose i forgot you see so all the time just do this you need to make everything to be in a standard form all right so now we need to look for two numbers that when you multiply them they give us negative 16 then when we add or subtract them they give us what they give us zero as we did on our first example okay so we'll have what we'll have positive 4 and negative 4 as the numbers that when you multiply them they give us negative 16 then when we add them or subtract them they give us zero all right now so let us you solve for x so open bracket um x minus 4 is less than 0 or open bracket x plus 4 less than 0 so now we solve for x all right then when we are here we just transpose so x it will be we transpose that 4 to that other side x less than positive 4 we change its sign or x less than minus 4 so we need to represent our answers graphically uh, using what the parabola you can use a number line or whatever that you are using in your school so here we're using what the parabola because it is the easiest one all right so since we have less than we use the open dot so even if it was greater than as long there's no that equal sign okay so the positive number goes to the right and negative number goes to the left so we have we have positive four so now we are done so all the time make sure that everything's in a standard form all right so this is what we have so we can do anything we need to get rid of the brackets so that we can have everything in a standard form all right so we need to get rid of the bracket uh, we do it like this we multiply x and x we get x squared and we do actually what we were taught in grade six so three is three x minus 12. so when we are here we need to do what we need to group the like terms you get that so when we group our like terms this is how we are grouping them so minus 4x then we transpose that 3x and we transpose the 12 will be positive 
uh, 12 then less than 0 so that everything can be in a standard form so here does uh, we get minus 7 next when we use our calculator plus 12 less than 0 all right so when we are here we need to do the factorization so remember now our last term this is a trinomial is positive it tells us that we need to have what a same sign so we'll take what the middle sign why because the last term it is what it is positive so if it is negative it tells us that we need to use what uh, different numbers so now what we need to have our critical values or critical numbers here you see that so how do we find them well, we need two numbers that when we multiply them they will give us 12 then when we add them they give us minus 7 okay we have 4 and 3 it get 7 so we can use these ones or you can use quadratic formula when you get your answers you put them on their opposite signs all right so let us split our brackets so we have what uh we have okay equal to um open bracket x minus 4 less than 0 or x minus 3 less than 0 you see that okay now we need to transpose as we are in this stage okay so x is less than positive 4 or x is less than uh less than positive three so we need to represent our answers graphically remember we are using what a parabola you can use a number line if you understand it okay no problem so this is how we use it so we don't we have less than or equal it doesn't have less than or equal to so we use what the open dot you see that so the put the, the bigger number goes to the right uh to the right hand and the left one goes to the uh, i mean the, the the less one go to the left hand side so since both of them they are positive so all the time you do it like that okay all right this is a different one from all the examples which we did because the first term it has a negative sign so when you have a negative number we divide when we divide by a negative number everything changes and the sign changes its direction so here we'll have x squared and we divide by minus one it will be 3x then we divide again we'll get minus five then since we divided by a negative number the sign changes it will be less than zero so bear that in mind all the time so now everything is in a standard form let us check so here we need to have two numbers and that when we multiply them by five i mean when we multiply them they give us a negative five then when we add them they give us positive three so we can't find those numbers so we use what quadratic formula so we'll have x minus uh, b squared plus a uh, plus or minus uh, the delta remember the delta stands for a uh, b squared minus 4ac but you need to know it don't be uh, over two okay now so we need to do what we need to substitute our variables so this is what we do plus or minus three and three squared sorry is three squared yes minus four then the value of a it is one now the value of c it is minus five then let me do this now we divide everything by what by two open bracket the value of a which it is one okay so we do the splitting when we split you will get your answer as uh one comma uh, one comma uh, two or x equal to um negative four comma two all right then since we got our numbers now that is when we can use the brackets remember we're not dealing with the with an equal sign so that is when we can use the bracket then we change those numbers this one will be negative because it was positive there remember that so x minus 1 comma 2 uh, open bracket x plus 4 comma 2 is we use that symbol remember less than what less than zero only if 
the critical values are not found or it is not easy to get them so let, let us solve for x now we transpose it will be 1 comma 2 or x uh, less than negative 4 comma 2 so let us do what let us represent our answers graphically use our parabola as we know i hope by the by this time you now understand okay so now as we have our answers as one comma two and negative four comma two you see that so the positive one goes to the right the negative one goes to the left okay so now we have less than we don't have that less than or equal to so we use what open dot hope you now understand it so the negative answer uh, to the left and the positive one to the right so this is our answer hey do this one on your own and leave your answer in the comments i'll send the correction